So we're getting there. We're almost done uh, with chapter acid base, almost at the end. Titration, that's Roman numeral 2. Remember, Roman numeral 8 was indicators. Roman numeral 9 was single replacement reactions. Roman numeral 10, titration. This is the only formula you need to know for the acid base chapter. Okay? And the formula is actually your third up. It's called titration. And we're going to do that right now. So, the formula So, what this formula is, is the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. So you have one unknown and three knowns. Okay, we're going to do two experiments with this after I show you how to do these equations. Okay, so here's the question. So now, you are going to find the volume of a 1.5 molar HCl acid given a 0.25 molar NaOH Okay, so watch. Find the volume of a 1.5 molar HCl, which is an acid, given a 0.25 molar base, NaOH, and it took 80 mils of that base to exactly neutralize that acid. So, what we have to do is we have to write down what we know. Okay, so what we know is this. The volume is the, of the acid is what we're going to find. The molarity of the acid is 1.5. The molarity of the base is 0.25 times the volume, which is 80 mils. So all we have to do is 0.25 times 80 divided by 1.5. Okay? So I think uh, 0.25 of 80 is 20 times 1.5. So, I don't know, I think the volume of the acid is 30 mils. So what that means is it's going to take 30 mils of a 1.5 molar acid to exactly neutralize 0.25 moles of a base times 80 mils. Okay, so here's your answer. Now we're going to do a couple more and I'll simplify these so they're a little bit easier.
Okay, so what we want to find out is we want to find out the molarity of the nitric acid. All right, so we have 40 mils of a nitric acid and we have 50 mils of a 0.5 molar base. So we have to set it up. MA times VA equals MB times VB. Now, we are looking for the molarity of the acid. We're looking for that. So we're going to go MA times 40 mils equals the molarity of the base is 0.5 times 50 mils. So all we have to do is get MA by itself. So we're going to go 0.5 times 50 and then divide it by 40. So it'll look like this. So what we get is 25 divided by 40. And 25 divided by 40 is 0 0.63. 0 0.63, that would be the molarity of the acid. All right? One more, then I'm going to show you a trick one. Okay, so look, find the volume of a 2.5 molar potassium hydroxide needed to exactly neutralize 60 mils of a 0.25 molar, and don't forget that thing, it's got a coup at the end. Coup at the end means weak acid, all right? Coup at the end means a weak acid. All right, so now let's set this up. So, MA times VA equals MB times VB, all right? So what are we looking for? We are looking for the volume of the base, so we're looking for this. So the molarity of the acid is 0.25 times the volume of the acid is 60 equals VB, that's what we're looking for, times 2.5. So, a quarter of 60, and then we're going to divide it by 2.5. So, when we do all that, the volume of the base, VB, equals 6 mils. That is our answer. The volume of the base is equal to six mils. Now, here's the trick. Whenever you do a titration, you have to look at something before you plug in everything. You have to look at how many OHs 
are in your base. Look, right there. There's only one OH in your base, and you gotta look at how many H's are in your acid. Here's your H. There's only one H in your acid. So you have one base, one acid. You just do it normally like we've done the next three. But if you have a different amount of OHs or Hs, you got to do something else. So let's do one of these questions. It's going to be a bonus. Okay, when you hand in your, uh, when you shoot your email to me. All right, here we go. Okay, now watch. These are trick questions, and there was one on the regents that really hurt people. First, check and see. There's your acid. I have two H's right there. I've got two H's there. Your base is potassium hydroxide. I've got one base there. So that does not, there's not one and one, or two and two, or three and three. They're different numbers. 2H plus is 1OH. We're going to have to put that in the equation. So watch. MA times VA equals MB times VB. Now, since I have two H pluses, I have to put a 2 in the front of MA. 2. And there's only one there, so we're good. So now when we plug in everything, MA, it would be 2 times 0.25 times volume of the acid equals now this is easy on the other side, equals 0.3 times 50. And here's our unknown. But do you all understand, if the H plus number doesn't equal the OH number, you got to show it in the equation. So now it will be, point, it'll be 2 times 0.25, that's 0.25. 5O times VA equals 0.3 times 50. So once we do all this stuff, the volume of the acid the volume of the acid is 30 mils. So please don't forget you have to check how many H's and how many OH's there are in the titration. If they don't equal each other, you got to plug that number in. Okay, let's just say that this, the base, was this one. A-L-O-H in parentheses 3. Now, you would have two H's and three OHs. So what you'd have to do in this problem is you'd have to put 
a 3 right there. So if the H pluses and OH minuses don't equal each other, you got to plug them in. All right? That's about it for titration. Now we're going to do two, two examples that are labs. So this is our first uh, lab experiment that we're actually going to do after the uh, questions that we just did on titration. Okay? So here's what we have. And I'll show you in a minute. We have a base is 0.25 molar. Okay, a base that's 2,5 molar. And that base is right here, 0.25 molar. We have an acid that's an unknown molarity. Okay, we are going to use going to use 10 mils of HCl of an unknown molarity. We know our base is 0.25. So what we are going to do is this. Maybe you'll be able to see this better. This right here is called a burette. Right here. This is filled with 0.25 molar base. And what I'm going to do is we are going to put the 10 mils of acid in here, then I'm going to put bromo blue in here, and you know bromo blue in an acid turns yellow. Then I'm going to go like this, open up that valve right there, and start pouring in the base. And it will be yellow, 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 yellow until it's almost neutralized by the base. Then some crazy stuff will happen. It'll turn blue, which means there's too much base, but when I swirl it, it'll go back. And it'll keep on going back and forth until I get green. Once I get green, that's neutral. So then I just see how much we use. I see how much base we use, and then we put it in the titration formula, okay? All right, so let's do it. So here we go. Here's 10 mils of the HCl, unknown molarity. Now we are going to put the bromo blue in. It should turn yellow. And there is the yellow for an acid. Now, we are going to start pouring the base in. And you can see, did you see the blue? Now we are very close. Every time we put some in, it's going to turn blue, and then it's going to go back. So what we know is that is very close to being neutral. So we're going to go kind of drop by drop. All right, those are those drops. Oh yeah, we're getting close.
Oh, it's just about there. Maybe a couple more drops and we're good. That should do it. So that, that is green right now. Now watch what happens if I put too much base in it. So that's neutral. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the burette. The burette says 25 mils of base is used. So I'll put that up on the board in a second. But watch what happens if I put too much base in here. That's neutral right now. If I put too much base in, that's what happens. It turns blue and it won't go back. Okay? So, we were perfect with our titration. So here's what we know. We used a 0.25 molar sodium hydroxide, which is a base. We used up 25 mils of that base. Uh, we have an unknown molarity hydrochloric acid, we use 10 mils. So, let's do the formula. MA times VA equals MB times VB. All right, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for the molarity of the acid. We know the volume is 10. The molarity of the base is 0.25 times 25. So we have to get the 10 on the other side. So this is what it looks like. MA is right here, so MA equals 0.25 times 25 divided by 10. And our answer for the molarity of the acid is 0.63. So that's the answer of our first experiment in titration using Bromo Blue. And this is our second lab example. And this time we're going to use 20 mils we're going to use 20 mils of an unknown molarity HCl and we're going to find we're going to find out how many mils it takes we're going to find out how many mils it's going to take of a 0.75 molar sodium hydroxide to neutralize the 20 mils of the unknown all right. Okay. So once again, we have 20 mils of an unknown molarity HCl. And this base in this burette is 0.75 molar. So here we go. Notice the pink is on the sides. Let's stop it. Swirl it. Gone. Remember, we're going to be looking for a light pink. Swirl it. Gone. Let's 
Swirl it gone. Ooh, it's getting very close now. Getting very, very close. And there it is, a light pink, perfect. Looking at the burette, we only used about 15 mils. We only used about 15 mils of that, 1H, 1OH, so we're good. So it is 20 mils times molarity of the acid equals 15 mils times 0.75 okay so we're going to go 15 times 0.75 and then divide it by 20 And what we get is the molarity of the acid is 0.56. The molarity of the acid is 0.56. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to give you two questions here. And there are two questions in the review book I want you to do. Okay, here we go. First question. All right, there's your first question. Find the volume of a 0.8 molar lithium hydroxide that was exactly neutralized by 110 mils of a 0.4 hydrofluoric acid. All right, that's the first one. You put that first one on an email with this next one. Number two.
Okay, your second question. Find the molarity of 50 mils of nitric acid that was exactly neutralized by 20 mils of a 0.15 molar rubidium hydroxide. Okay, now your bonus, and then I'll give you two in the review book. Now, this is a bonus because, remember, the H's don't match the OH's. So you're going to have to do something with that. All right? That's your bonus. Now, in your packet, this packet, the one with the light bulb in it, The last three pages are construct response. So you're going to look for page three, and here are the questions you're going to send in. With these three, you're going to send these in with email. You can either take a picture of this page, or you can put down number 63 I want an answer for, 64, 65, and then underneath it, number 51 and 52. So, what you're going to email me, the three questions from the board, and you're going to do 63, 64, 65, 51, and 52 in your packet. All right? Good luck. I mean, it's the same formula for everyone. Okay.